Hello, and welcome to James Lester's Express Lane Reviews, where we get you in and out as fast as possible. Today I'll be doing the 10 best PlayStation 3 exclusives. Yes, a lot of these have been moved on to the PS4 because they were so good, but at the time, they were PS3 exclusives. Like, number 10, Flower. Flower is a very calming experience. It really teaches you how to use the, motion, the controller as a motion controller. And in fact, it is so good. It was at the Tilly Art Museum for their video game exhibit. It is just nice, peaceful, relaxing game. I know for a lot of people it's not their style, which is why it's only number 10 on my list. But, speaking of, we move on to number 9, Heavy Rain. Another game that is not everyone's cup of tea. For me, it was great. The storyline, the visuals, I just loved it so much, especially with all the endings you can do, and the permadeath. Now, you died, go back two minutes, it's Oh, you died? That character's dead. But again, not everyone's cup of tea, which is why it's only number 9 on my list. And then, number 8, the Infamous series. I like having superpowers. An open world is pretty cool. But, especially the first one, they didn't really have what they were doing down. The second one, it got a lot better though. But if you don't play the first one, you might be a little bit lost in the second one. If you have the chance, definitely get it. And now they got the sequel, I think, Second Sons on PS4. But Infamous series is very good. Highly recommend it. And now we move on to number seven, Metal Gear Solid 4. It would be higher, except there's more cutscene than video game. Don't get me wrong, the cutscenes are very well worth it and it needed to be in it for the game, but there's just so many cutscenes. If it weren't for that, it'd be a lot higher on my list. But as it is, it's only number seven. But now we move on to number six, the Resistance series. Some people might be like, wait, what? You moved that up to number six? The visuals, especially at the time, were great. Storyline, very good. But for me, couch co-op. I miss couch co-op. I miss sitting next to a friend, controller in hand, doing stuff on the video game and talking about it right as they sit next to me. Yes, I know in today's day of headsets and all that, it's not that big a deal. But for me, I like being able to invite someone over and go, Hey, let's play this. Sitting down on the couch and playing it together. Which is why for me, this is number six. But as we move on to number five, we become a god. In God of War 3, Kratos goes out and finishes his revenge. The visuals, when the very first part of the game, you're on the back of a titan as the Titan is climbing up Mount Olympus. Just, just that visual alone, especially on a huge screen, is amazing. It only gets better from there. Yes, some of the game mechanics, eh, they use the same thing over and over again. But, just, it's still an amazing game. For me, probably, I mean, I played the first two, and they were good, but this one just blew me away as far as God Worth goes. But, if you want to be blown away even more, Journey. Again, like Flower, it's a small, simple game, beautiful visuals, very calming. And the storyline, I'm not even really sure. But, it's so high on my list because it's just that good. If you haven't already tried it, get it. It's not that expensive. And other people will show up in your game, but you can't talk. You can make noises at each other, but there's no talking. Just, I mean, this game is just impossible to describe. That's how good it is. Unfortunately, it might be a little higher, except the next three are amazing. Like, number three, Demon Souls. Without Demon Souls, there is no Dark Souls. Demon Souls is what started it. Started the, oh, you died. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to die again. And again. And again. And again. And guess what? You're going to die again. But the overall game is just so great that, you know what, if I die a couple hundred times, totally worth it. The game mechanics could have been a little better, but they of course improved that in Dark Souls. But again, no Demon Souls, no Dark Souls. If you have the chance, check out Demon Souls, you'll be hooked for life. Speaking of being hooked for life, number two, the Uncharted series. This is pretty much Indiana Jones, the video game, but better. 
it's just when you're climbing a train or climbing a mountain, having yetis coming after you, or you're on a planet and it's crashing to the desert, just the visuals, the art style, the mechanics, it's, this is an amazing game. And again, it's Indiana Jones, the video game, but better. Way better than the Crystal Skull fuckery. It might even be better than the original three. I just, this game series is amazing. And mind you, I haven't even tried the fourth one on the PS1 yet. PS1? The PS4. <laughs> Getting confused, right? Because I want to think about number one. The best game for the PS3? The Last of Us. Same game company that gave you the Uncharted series gives you The Last of Us. The best zombie game ever. Because really, the zombies aren't that big a deal. Except for the clickers. It's the other survivors you have to worry about. The game mechanics where you can hear where people are. You can turn that off because that's a little gamey, but it can be a lifesaver. The storyline, the voice acting, everything just overall is amazing. And even better, the DLC is just as good if not better. Short, but amazing. Of course, now you can get it for the PS4 with updated graphics and it comes with DLC included. So if you didn't get the chance to check it out on PS3, Get it for PS4, you will not regret it. This game is amazing. Get it, get it, get it. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.